Hey everyone, this is Don from Brazia Toneworks and thanks for watching. Today's video is on understanding how a three-way lever switch works. I did a video a while back that's been actually fairly well received on how a five-way switch works. I thought I'd do the exact same thing for a three-way for those of you who are looking to try to put one of these in one of your guitars or, or modify some stuff. You can see how it works. A three-way switch and a five-way switch are going to look very similar. They both have four lugs on the left side and four on the right side. And I talk about these in terms of splitting it between the left and the right. And you can do different things with it. I like to also identify the lugs. It makes my videos a little bit easier. So looking at this particular chart here, you can see the lugs on the left. I start with A, 1, 2, 3, 4. And on the right, B, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, if we take a look at the switch in position 1, which... If you have a Telecaster or something like that, let's just assume position one would represent like, I want the bridge on. What you're basically having is you're having on the left side of the switch, lugs A1 and A4 are joined. On the right side of the switch, we have B1 and B2. Those two lugs are joined. You'll notice though, I don't have any type of a jumper or anything going between. So right now, both the left side and the right side, they're independent of each other. Now, if I move the switch to the middle position, you can see on the left-hand side, lugs A2 and A4 are now joined, and on the right side, B1 and B3 are joined. Again, without a jumper, these are independent. The left side is going to work independently from the right side. Okay, and lastly, in position 3, we're going to have A3 and A4 are joined, and B1 and B4 are joined. Now, one way that you can link the left side and the right side together is you would take A4 and you'd run a jumper up to B1. This is very similar to what we do when we run a five-way switch. That's why some of the operations you'll notice in the wiring will look very similar to a five-way, although you don't get, if you had like a three pickup combination, you would not get the one in the two or the bridge in the middle or the middle in the neck. You don't have that position two or position four. Now, some of you will remember in an original Stratocaster, you had a three-way switch and not a five. And this is one way that it could be wired up. You'd have your bridge going to A1, your middle going to A2, your neck going to A3. You'd have this jumper from A4 up to B1, which would then go to your output on your volume pot. And then you'd have Bs 2, 3, and 4 for your tone controls. And if you've watched my other videos on how to manipulate these particular lugs, you can figure out how to wire up so you can have an individual tone control, let's say for your bridge and your neck and your middle join and share one or any other type of combination for the tone controls. So if for some reason you have a three pickup guitar and you want to use a three-way lever switch on it, you would wire it up this way and using B2, B3, and B4 and some combinations of joining them or not, you can have the tone controls go to, you know, a middle tone control, a bottom tone control, or you don't even have to use these and just have a master tone control. And if you're interested in the colors, on the left side, the yellow will match the right side when you have the jumper based on how this switch operates. The pink, if you will, will match with the pink, and the blue will match with the blue. Again, it functions just like a five-way switch, although you will not get positions two and four. Now, while the three-way can be used in a three-pickup guitar, it's mainly used in a Telecaster or a two-pickup style guitar. And this is how this would be wired up. You'd have your bridge pickup would be connected to A4, and your neck pickup would be connected to B1, and your volume pot would be connected to B4. Now, the jumpers in this case are going to look different than if we were trying to wire up three pickups. So for a two pickup wiring jumper scheme, we're going to have a wire from A1 to A2, from A2 to B3, and finally from B3 to B4. All right, and that's it. That's all we need to wire this up. So now let's take a look at exactly how this is operating. In position one, which is the bridge only pickup, you can see that on the left hand side, A1 and A4 are joined, meaning the bridge pickup is coming in to A4. It's linking to A1, which via the jumper is getting us all the way to the volume pot. You can see the neck pickup coming into B1 is linked to B2, which is not part of our jumper scheme, so therefore the neck pickup is not engaged. 
Okay, so if we move the switch to position 2, you can see the bridge pickup coming into A4 is linked to A2, which via the jumper will get us to the volume pot. On the right side, the neck pickup is coming into B1, which is linked to B3, which is part of the jumper scheme, and that will get us to our volume pot as well. So that's how, in position 2, we have the bridge and the neck pickup combined. And lastly, in position 3, which would be the neck only, on the left-hand side, you can see the bridge pickup is still coming into A4, but it's linked to A3, which is not part of the jumper scheme, so it's not getting out to our volume pot. On the right side, the neck pickup coming into B1 is connected to B4, which is right away connected to our volume pot. So that's how the bridge pickup is segmented off and it is not active in position number three. Well, there you go. A real quick and hopefully simple demonstration of how a three-way switch works and how the lugs are actually paired. Hopefully this helps you guys out who are looking to try to do something with one of these. As always, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please email me at braziatoneworks at gmail.com. And remember, tone, it's not just a knob, it's sound advice. Thanks.